kind of show you how to solve these questions graphically because you can figure that out on your own calculator. But I'm going to show you how to do it algebraically. So <clears throat> I've got 3 over x. One minus or one plus x minus thirteen over six, right? Okay. So we did this last year. So I'm going to do it the same way we would have approached it last year. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure everything's factored down to your minimums. That's the easiest way to start the question. Now, looking at the question, what's the common denominator here? Where? 6x. So I'm going to multiply everything by 6x. Okay, that x cancels, leaves me with 18. 6x plus 6 is cancel, leaves me with x squared minus 13x. Okay, so far so good. What do I do at this point now that I have a quadratic? That it equals zero. Zero is equal to x squared plus six x. Nope, sorry. That would be well, that would be minus seven x. Right? And then subtract eighteen. Okay. Hopefully factorable. X is 9 and negative 2. There are two solutions for this. Should check them both. 3 over 9 is a third. 1 plus, and then so that would be uh, 9 subtract 13, negative 4. Negative 4 over that is negative 2 thirds. 1 subtract negative, or 1 subtract 2 thirds is a third. It works. Negative 2, plug it in, works as well. So that's basically all there is to it. Okay? Questions so far? Again, grade 11 work. Um, we haven't approached any grade 12 stuff. In grade 11, we don't actually graph. Well, we do graph a little bit, but not near as much. Um, let's skip over to example 3. So I have x over x minus 1. Track two. Sorry. Subtract two equals. Subtract two. Two x. Yep. And then it's x plus one. This right. Two x subtract two. Two x subtract two. I'm going to factor it. So I have that. Okay. Again, it's easiest to find your common denominators and cancel anything out if you factor as much as you can to begin with. So what's my common denominator here? 2 times x minus 1, correct? going to be minus 4x, right? Mm -hmm. Multiply it through, so it's minus 4x squared plus 4x. Does that look right to you? 2x times 2 is 4x. 4x times x is negative 4x squared, because the negative. Negative times that. Give me a 4x equals x plus 1. Okay, get it equal to 0. 4x squared on this side. 2x and 4x makes 6x. Subtract over there is negative 5x. And it looks like it's add 1. So far, so good? Yeah. Oh, but you, I never 2x and 4x, I moved over there and subtracted. And I left the 1 on that side. I moved it over to make that positive. Okay? Factorable. That 
works, doesn't it? So x is equal to a quarter and one. Okay. Again, this is all grade 11 work. We're not doing much with it. <coughs> Different than what you did in grade 11. In fact, we just finished the test on this yesterday. Okay. Any questions about that? All right. So you can see we're almost at the end of nine. I would uh, like to see us finish nine by the end of tomorrow and get on to ten. If we get on to ten, that leaves us basically two units left. Ten is a ten is a doozy, but eleven is uh, perms and comms. So we've done it, and then just one other one one part of it that we haven't done. So that would give us enough time to prep for our exam. Probably give us maybe five days, which would be a little bit, not near enough. Um, actually, speaking of which, I'll answer your question a second, Jake. Those of you that are somewhat concerned or, or thinking ahead about this exam, I would start taking those books home, those uh, purple books back there. There will be two parts to every exam. There's a part one and a part two. The part one is is the uh, calculator part. Part two is the non-calculator part. I would even just take all the part ones home over a period of time and start looking at them. They don't put them together. Get, get the questions. <coughs> part ones and part two work together, like in the same book. No, they're in separate booklets. Uh -huh. Okay. Questions? Jake. Is it possible for us to have these tests separate? I don't know. I haven't looked at You said you might combine 9 and 10. <coughs> yeah. It's, just, it's a lot easier to... Yeah, but then you're costing them. yourself a day review. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, what I may do is test 9 and then, and then 10 I can give an assignment over the weekend. That's a possibility. But uh, I don't want to separate. I don't want to lose two days for your review. Okay, so um, we could test nine on Thursday. Is Tuesday right? If we test nine on Thursday, then that gives us chapter ten, and it's still cut and tight ten. There's four days the following week. We could get it done in those four days the following weekend, and we have well, another four days for. Uh, we should no, we'll just look here. What was that? June. So if we, today is what? The 15th, 14th, right? 14th. If we got test of 9, 10's done there. That's okay. We'll be 11. And that would give us, yeah, that's fine. <coughs> we'll be okay. We'll still get six days of exam review. We'll test nine on Thursday. Ten, I'll give you an assignment over the following weekend. And then eleven, um, I may not even test because we've already tested on it and applied, except for binomial. I'll give you a question about binomial theorem. I'll give you three questions that pertain to the exam. And then that'll take care of all our assessments. And then we can start studying for that exam. Okay? So, yeah, that works. So we'll test on nine on Thursday. Problems with what that? If we, can we even take time from physics class to just test in physics? No. We can't do that? No, we can't, because we've got grade 11s in there that are doing the same stuff as you, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, no, I don't want to test. Okay. So, nine's going to be a test Thursday, 10 will be an assignment, and 11 will be an assignment. And that'll give you any of your assessments. All right? I suggest if I would like to see you after the long weekend start taking those booklets. I'm telling you, if you can ignore the booklets that you do, <coughs> your percentage goes up by a massive amount because the questions all are recycled. So you'll see them. Once you see them all, you'll just say, oh, okay, I saw this one in the last exam. I saw this one in the last exam. And you just keep going. All right? So the more exams you look at, the better off you will be for this. And I suggest you do some of it on your own time. All right. Okay. Any questions from 9.1 to 9.3? I know we just showed you 9.3, but... Um, I guess, um, 
319.3b. Can I read it? I'm not, actually, I'm going to try it again. I, I thought we already did watch this one, so I can't do it again. You're okay? You want to try it again? Yeah, I'll just try it again. Okay, good enough. And then I'll come back. Just bring it back if you don't get it. Okay. Finish up chapter 9 today and tomorrow. Uh, there won't be a pretest. Just everything will be done out of your book here. So your review will be just enough for you to study. All right? All right. Did you guys, um, did you put a video up from Friday for 9.2?